Right, this is part three of this epic journey of the uh, the, the grain meister, <laughs> grain meister, grain father, whatever malarkey. And uh, it's testing now uh, the, the water side of it to see what's going to happen with that. So let's do your twizzle. So basically I've showed you this in either motor and uh, I've attached the two pipes and one goes there, look and it flows down into the motor and then what I'm trying to do is purge the air out of the uh, out of the blue pipe there because I think we'll probably get problems else so I'm just about to switch it on so uh, shall we see what happens, see if any water comes out, I'll put some water in here look. So let's see what happens when I switch it on. Nothing. Hmm. What if I go the wrong way round? Well, unfortunately, the uh, pump didn't work, and after careful consideration, taking it out and having a look how the fins go and I've got everything out about face so basically what I've done <coughs> excuse me what I've done <laughs> my bloody cough oh shit should I carry on yeah bollocks yeah what I've done look I'll show you what I've done I'll do your twizzle right I've got the spar jam up here right from the pump and uh, a regulator. I've got to get a, 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 a Jubilee clip to hold that on, but I think I'll hold on for a start. And then this pipe goes through the top, down there, down there, down there, and into the motor. Right. Now that is obviously the flow um, out of the pump. And then I've had to turn the pump the other way around, it was on its side. Because what was happening, the input, which is there, look, which goes out the back, where are we? Out the back there, look, through an hole there, and into that. So, there right, it goes then. So that's the circuit. So uh, let's give it a whirl and see what happens. Right, so first I've got to fill it with water. So I'll put the uh, pipe in there. Make sure everything's off. And fill it with water. Might have to drill some more holes in the bottom there. I'll get a bit more actually. So I think that should be enough to test it. So, I don't think it's levelled up yet. So, uh, we'll give it a run. So, let's do your twizzle. Right, 
So let's switch on. Right. And let the water into the pump. Ah! Leaking. Right, um, I've managed to stop the leaking by buying a few bits and bobs from the plumber's merchants and it seems to be uh, leak free now so I shall just try it out again. So I've got, I've got some water in here. Uh, I'm not plugging it in because I don't want to warm it up but what I've done look, i put the spar jam on here, look, onto the clear pipe. Change, I've changed the pipe because uh, somebody mentioned about uh, the washer pipe not being food safe, so I've changed that. Thanks for that. Um, so, let's give it a whirl. So, uh, if we switch on there, and then just turn this a little bit. and you can do it whatever speed you want by just slowing it down or speeding it up so I'll just show you I mean you can have it just a trickle Or full power. And uh, you can see from the uh, can't really point it very well. So the, 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 the fluid's whizzing round, so I'll just switch it off and go on to the next, next phase of the job is to uh, you see how I've got up there, look, out of the way is to find the height of this inner bucket thing and what I want to do, look, is lift it up there and then I was thinking of sort of twizzling it onto brackets and I'll show you the brackets I've got these look two brackets and I thought if I have one there and one there and then lift the inner bucket up and twizzle it so it rests on it I'll show you what I mean I mean look so what I thought was um, I've got to find a lifting device to lift that because it's going to be bloody heavy but basically look if you pull that up where's the bloody red bits can't do it very well with the camera but bring it up there look with the lifting device and then do a, a twizzle like that and rest it on there look like that. So it dribbles down into that. Now, um, I can't remember what his name was, but somebody says, how about if you get a fermenting handle, and you know the fermenting bucket things, these, look. One of them, look. Take one of them off, and drill a couple of holes, one there and one the other side, to lift it up. Uh, I don't know whether to lift it from the ceiling or something. So, uh, that's my idea. So, uh, I'll have a think what on I've that. now is uh, lowered it down a bit, or a bit too high, and I've put those brackets down a bit. So, I think that'll be alright actually. So, what's my next plan? Yeah, now, the next plan is, you know that spar jar on there, look, 
Well that's recirculating at the moment but what I want it to do is drop uh, clean water into there. Uh, clean sparge water at a right temperature so I've got to get me thinking head on for that next.